Okay, so I am working on getting um, my, check that. I'm working on getting my um, K2 template set up using uh, Oracle Apex. Uh, making sure it all works and then I'm going to destroy it and show you uh, how you can do it also. And I'm gonna do an install from scratch. Um, these are dirty. Uh, gonna do an install from scratch and basically you should be able to recreate um, what I do if you want to get uh, initial k2 template up and running so Okay, but um, in order to do that I'm back on Oracle cloud here and I needed to get email working again It wasn't working. I had to go through it. It took me a few minutes to figure it all out So I'm going to show you how uh, this works. So if you're in your Oracle cloud account you go to developer services and uh, we find email here somewhere. Um, where is it? Uh, email delivery. I'm going to try not to show you anything I'm not supposed to show you. I think I've got this all working. Now, I am actually sending email, so I'm not sure exactly why uh, this is not showing anything. But uh, uh, that I can figure out later. Uh, I don't know. But it is working. Um, so if you go into here and uh, you go to configuration you're going to see your uh, public endpoint. Um, and that's great. Um, you don't need to worry about this if you're, if you're doing this from Oracle Apex on Oracle Cloud, but you're gonna need to create a identity. So you're gonna get, this is gonna create a username and a password that you're going to need to, along with this public endpoint. So if I click that, it'll take you uh, to here. And I have already created one, uh, but uh, I could create another one just by saying uh, generate SMTP credentials. I basically throw something in there and it's going to give you the username and the password. And uh, well, I just showed that, but we'll, we'll, we'll blur that out. Um, so you, the password you're going to only get one time. Uh, and so if you want to save that, you need to save that securely somewhere. Once you have that, uh, you're going to uh, go into your admin user and you're going to, you know, register uh, that SMTP host address, username, and password. I've obviously taken them out. And you're going to run this, uh, and that's going to take care of that. So uh, let's get out of there. So once that's set up, you go to email domains, and I own the domain arclogicsoftware.com. So I created an email domain and added that. Um, then when you go into that, you're going to add a DKIM record, which is, it's like, it's just a CNAME record. So you're going to go back. It's going to give you the CNAME record and the value. You're going to go to your domain provider. In my case, it's Hover. And you can see I've added that CNAME, uh, the value, uh, and the, well, let me go back to this. Hang on. So it's going to give you the record name. That's the uh, do domain address that it's going to hit. So it wants to hit this address. And it's going to redirect uh, that over to uh, somewhere at Oracle. So the thing to watch out there for is like in this prov in, in this uh, setup, it doesn't actually need the domain name. If I if I go into this, uh, you can see I've taken the actual dot arclogic software dot com dot off of the host name because uh, that doesn't that doesn't go there. And this just depends on. Uh, your your hosting provider, what they expect, but um, if you left that on there, I don't know if it would even let you leave it on there, but that wouldn't, I don't think it would work. And then this is the uh, redirect that's occurring. So you add that up, and if you've done it right, uh, in not too long, you should get some green uh, checks there. They won't be there initially, uh, but that should all work. And then... Uh, what we can do is we can send an email. Now, my uh, K2 installs, uh, you're going to have a procedure that's going to be stubbed out uh, in, the, um, uh, in your version. You're going to need to uncomment it. And uh, actually, it may not be stubbed out. I don't know. I'll have to check on that. But you're going to have something that looks like this. You may have to uncomment this. And it's using apexmail.send, and it installs a test procedure. I just cut and pasted the test procedure uh, over here, and I ran this, and you know I can do test email five, 
and run that. It's going to log back in because it's logged out. Um, and I can assure you, uh, I've done this a few times, uh, I got the email. And it's from Ethan at ArcLogicSoftware.com. So that's how uh, we got email working. Uh, and that is a requirement for login because, um, well, actually, you can do auto login where it, it logs you in without verification. You can set that up in K2. Um, and, or you can require uh, authentication. So, um, uh, and I don't remember what I had set up, but I wanted to get email working. So, okay, that's all I got. Thanks.